Perfect. You loaded it? Yes, you loaded it. Well, the Hilti gun sounded like it was doing the job, but actually, on close inspection, not really quite cutting the mustard. So we've got Tim, our barn builder, coming over later today or tomorrow, and he's going to put his mag drill on the job, and we'll actually bolt those bits of timber on, so they're properly so. All right, so for today, um, I'm probably going to shift some of these piles of dirt off the field today because I will want to let the cattle back out there for long. But I think this morning, I think we're going to shoot over to the farm and just see what the rape's doing. Apparently there's a green haze over the ground, so it's all coming up. But I'm just wondering how much of that haze is rape and how much is volunteer wheat. Because I reckon most of it's going to be volunteer wheat. So we'll go and have a look. Um, I'm supposed to be going the other way. I'm supposed to be going to the farm to look at your seed rape. Or dad's oil seed rape, actually. Uh, but I've got to go north first because I've been SOS'd by one of our clients. Could I come and look at some tree work urgently? He's only going to be there for half an hour, so could I do it now? Um, but being as he's a regular, regular client, I said, said yes. So, so we'll go south later. First, we're going to go north. Simple little job, that won't take very long, but we've got to wait till the scaffold's ding. Right, back home, because I've got a guy coming to pick up some wood chip, and then, after a cup of tea, maybe, maybe, I'll get over to the farm. I'm going to relieve Martin from uh, splitting logs. I've got another job for him to do, which is worse. Into the soft wood crap now, is it? Sorry, you mean to make you jump? <laughs> yes. Got rid of all that. Yeah. Um, Maddie up at um, Wooden is a claiming roach. Yeah. Another one. Oh, so it's at the back of her eggs. Paul Pruner. Oh, yeah. So yeah, Paul Pruner and Loppers. But you have to cut it down quite small because it's got to go through the house. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll do you up a job sheet in a minute. I said you'll be up to in the next couple of hours. Right. So, I mean, if you want to do this bag, then um, I've got someone coming in for a wood chip soon. So I'll have to pinch this then anyway, so 10 minutes. Right, okay. Is that a bit of Scott's point? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, well, they put the whole piece of the Yeah, that's right, that's an all log burner. Well, actually, I've got one, but the other two are just Although Abby's got a, um, Abby's got a log burner going in now, I think she's going to be trying to steal some of it. I can tell her she can cut her own. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'll let her borrow a kit. But, um, right, so, um, yeah, well, maybe Med may come from his chip. I'll go and do a job shoot for Maddie now, and then um, I'm just ready for you. So, I think you can keep the jeans on for that one. Yeah. Just going rows. Okie dokie. That's it. That's the last of our... Actually, this was only cut down... Oh, uh, what? A month ago? And going by the weight of that, if I leave that out in the sun a bit longer, it won't take long to get that in 20% by itself. Yes, quite light. That's ash. That's not. That looks more like... A very big hazel. Alder. It'll all burn.
Time for a tea break, innit? Always time for a tea break. Yeah, I thought so. It's not going as planned, okay? I still haven't got over to the farm, and I don't think I'm going to get there now till this afternoon. Um, I'd arranged to do a quotation, which is where I'm just leaving the place now, on the way over, and I've been here an hour. And now I've run out of time because just before I got here, my sister rang up to say, Oh, we'll be passing through shortly. Can I come in and uh, pinch some of your Bramley apples? So, in half an hour, she's going to be at my house. I can't get to the farm and then home in half an hour. So, I think what I'll do is I don't get to see my sister that often. I'll shoot home, see her. Um, Happy lunch and I'll go to the farm after lunch. Maybe I'll take the drone as well. Get up and have a look at it. So anyway, the job I've just looked at is gonna be a task. It's not tree work. Apart from a small holly and a lawson cypress, uh, the cypress is coming down, the holly is just being reduced. Um, it's all ivy and wisteria on old farm buildings, peeling it off. And the, the roofs on these, these buildings are already falling apart. I mean, there was a big, got to be 12, 14 inch square beam that would have run through the building was collapsed. So the only way we can do it is off the cherry picker and it's all pan tiles. A few double Romans, but pretty much all pan tiles. So trying to get ivy, which is like six foot Thick on top of this roof off without doing any more damage I mean I can't let anybody inside the building because the whole thing could collapse so um, yeah I said to the client I can't can't give you a quote for it because I've really no idea until we get into it how, no idea how long it's going to take um, but I reckon four or five days of just peeling Ivy and wisteria. Yeah, not the best job in the world, as in most exciting, but also mildly interesting because some of these old buildings have got to be a couple of centuries old. Um, yeah, there's going to be a bit of a yin and yang element to that one, I think. So, anyway, I haven't got the job yet. I've got to give her a, an estimate for it and try and be as kind as I can. We are now actually finally going to the farm to look at the OSR. Um, I got delayed because my sister came to visit and wanted some apples and obviously I haven't seen her for a while so it was nice to see her. Then Mikey and Emma turned up so I've been giving Mikey our time because obviously he's been off work for three weeks with a little shoulder operation. I've been told him to not to man up and come back to work because you know we need him and it's free physiotherapy. He hasn't got to lift anything heavy, and he hasn't got to use any machinery that's vibration, but he can certainly drive, and he can certainly hold a ladder, and keep Martin company. So yes, yeah, so I've been giving him some stick today. So. Uh, right, uh, on my way to see the, um, see the crop at the farm, I am going to call off and do a, quite, one more tree job. I've got to go look at a dead yew tree in Almondsbury, sorry, no, Alveston. So I'm going to do that first, and then we'll go to the farm, and we'll put the drone up and we'll have a look at Dad's green haze. That sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, you go and lay down there. Well, there is a green haze. Just as left to be said to find out what it is. Come on. I can see plenty of volunteer from here. But I would like to see a little round leaf rather than a big long one.
That's what I'm looking for. Not that. That. Well, we've got two leaves. Need some rain. That's what it wants. Get some rain on it. Get it going. Get these volunteers sprayed off. And see if we can get this crop. Uh, the slugs have had a go at it. It looks like Reg has been out with the slug pellets. Uh, hopefully that'll cure them. All right. Is it worth putting the drone up? Not really, but it will save me going out that gate, shutting that gate, going down, walking across the field, looking at the cattle. If I can go and check the cattle from here. So, yeah, it's lazy. Got the technology, might as well use it. Okay. Everything is quiet. What is our temperature? Temperature is 16.4. Like it a bit cooler than that, but this point is putting the fans on while it's warm outside. There's no point in sucking warm air into it. We want to wait till it's cooler outside so we can suck the cool air into it. All right. Moisture, I don't know, there's no moisture test here, so I can't can't look at it, but I'm kind of hoping that we're 16, 15 and below would be nicer, but it is what it is. Right, okay. We came, we saw, now we will go away again. Come on.
Well, not much to show yet. I think pretty much all the green we can see from up there, as well as down here, is volunteer wheat. Um, I think if we get the rain that is forecast tonight, it will make a big difference, certainly help. Um, the seeds generate, uh, generated, germinated, but now needs that bit of moisture just to get it going. So don't need a lot. Half inch over the next 24 hours would be nice. Have a day of sunshine, another half inch, you know, over 24 hours. More warm sunshine, get it going. Yeah, wish in one end, pee in the other. We both know which is going to be full first.